so uh, now look let us look at the cardinal number of the cartesian product that is the number of elements in a particular cartesian product and on on point to note here is that uh, we are not looking at uh, elements uh, uh, as such uh, in, in, the, in the sense that here the elements are ordered pairs so uh, we are looking at uh, how you would calculate how you would uh, get a result for n uh, a times b that is the, car, the cardinal number or the number of elements of the Cartesian product of uh, two sets a and b and as uh, in the case of uh, a previous discussion which we had uh, dealing with sets it follows the same uh, procedure that is uh, it's n a times n b that's the cardinal number of uh, 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 elements of uh, set a times the cardinal number of the elements of set b now what about n sets that is what what if uh, the elements of a particular set uh, are countable and n set uh, the nth number that is so uh, what if uh, the set a has so uh, uh, not the point that uh, uh, to avoid confusion and uh, to understand the the whole concept uh, in a clear manner uh, we have um, given two two different uh, notations that is the last element of uh, set a is a m the last element of set b is b n so in such a case what is the cartesian product of uh, these two sets and uh, we know that uh, uh, as far as the Cartesian product is uh, concerned, it's a pairing of the first element uh, with all the elements of the second set and uh, then the second element goes for the same procedure. So here we have uh, two sets, uh, the first set having m elements, that's am is the last element and the second set having n elements, that is uh, bn is the last element. So how, how do you go about it? Actually, it's, uh, it's the same procedure as so. Uh, the correlation product that is a times b would start from the first ordered pair that is the first element of a uh, pairing up with the first element of uh, set b that is a on b1 and it goes on like that and, uh, so the so the first element uh, would be uh, last pairing up uh, with the last element of set b that is a one b n so we can see that as the procedure continues, we reach the last ordered pair of the entire uh, <coughs> uh, series that is uh, the last element of A pairing up with the last element of B that is A, M, B, N. Now let us look at the, the whole process in another manner and this is one of the uh, key ways of representing relations. We'll be looking into a lot of cases both uh, in the theoretical section also and also in the problem problem section to, to understand it better so uh, first we are dealing with the, the ordered pairs of the first element of set a and uh, the blue, blue coloration indicates the first ordered pair of the and a set of uh, set of ordered pairs that is a1 b1 and we can see that uh, the last ordered pair that is the nth uh, ordered pair of element A1 naturally would be A1 uh, Bn. And uh, as so uh, it's more 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 right, uh, it would be more right to call it uh, the m uh, ordered pair because, uh, sorry, it, it, it is, uh, it actually is the nth ordered pair because we are, we are, it's the first element and uh, we are pairing it with the last element of four. Uh, uh, set B. So it is the nth, nth uh, ordered pair of element A1. So uh, what about the, the ordered pairs of the last uh, element of set A? Naturally, uh, it would be following the same procedure and we reach, we, we reach the last ordered pair of the entire series that is A, M, B and, and we, uh, it is given a uh, blue coloration and you can see that uh, 
that would be the nth ordered pair of the element a m so if you look at the entire uh, uh, correlation product the first ordered pair would be a1 b1 and the last ordered pair would be a m b n so what we are having here here is uh, m rows of ordered pairs and where, where, where each row has uh, n elements so we reached the conclusion that the correlation product of uh, uh, the sets a and b having m elements and n elements respectively uh, would be uh, giving us m l m n elements so uh, two there's the uh, two interesting points coming up uh, is if, if uh, no no we here dealt dealt with the sets which are having a finite elements that is the elements are countable what well, what if the elements are uh, not countable that is what if uh, what if uh, set uh, either of set a or b is infinite naturally uh, the ordered pairs would be infinite that means so uh, a times b would be uh, giving a giving an in infinite set and what about uh, three sets naturally the distant uh, ordered pairs or, or, or the cardinal numbers would be such that uh, it would be n a times n b times n c so thank you